Hi my beautiful Aries and welcome to my channel. This is going to be your November the 13th until the 20th. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. So for those of you guys that are new, welcome. And those of you that are returning, I'm so glad to have you. If you are new and you haven't yet subscribed, feel free to subscribe as that is always greatly appreciated. Um, for those of you that are interested in a personal reading, my website will be linked in the description box below, as well as the 2020 forecasts and horoscopes, which are only going to be available till the 15th of December. So you guys can check that out if you're interested. And um, those of you that are subscribed to me on here and following me on Instagram, which the link is in the description box, you guys are automatically going to be entered in the giveaway at the end of the month for a free reading. So for this reading, I'm going to do it a little bit different. As of next week, I'm going to start doing extendeds, and they're going to be personalized readings. So if these weekly readings resonate with you, then you can get the extended as an extra link, which will be available on my website. But for now, this week, I'm just going to show you guys what the extendeds are so that you guys have a full idea as to what you guys would be purchasing from next week and um, from next week continuing if you do if you are interested though so I'm going to ask a couple of questions that are very personalized and then I'm going to pull some romance angels and then at the end I will do a pick a card and you guys will um, pick a card which will be the answer to any question that I didn't ask throughout the reading all right so this has been a minute and a half if you're still with me I love you so goddamn much if you're not, it doesn't matter, but thank you guys. I hate when the messages are so long, but it'll just be for this week. Um, all right, so let's see. How does your person feel about you? So let's see, Aries. Show me how Aries' person is feeling about them. How is Aries' person feeling about them? And I found that these personalized, well, they're not personalized, but they're just generalized questions, right? And I find that they're very, like, the ones that I've done so far have turned out so good. Like, I really like them. So I'm really excited for these. So uh, leave me a like if you really um, enjoyed this reading. All right. So your person is feeling the two of wands with you. <clears throat> All right. You're dealing with somebody that sees you as somebody that they can have a lifelong partnership with. You're dealing with somebody that sees you as somebody who matches their goals in life. You match this person's inspiration, aspirations in life. This is somebody that can see a long-term partnership with you, and this is somebody that is wanting a long-term partnership with you. Whether they've already communicated this with you, you guys are already on your way, or this is something that they're currently thinking about, but this is somebody that is seeing you as long-term. They're wanting something long-term with you here. So that is really good. Um, Let's get some more. Show me, how is Aries' person feeling towards them, please? How is Aries' person feeling towards them? All right, and then we have the King of Pentacles. So they see you as somebody that is stable. They see you as somebody that is grounded. You could have children or you could have, you know, been in a previous marriage. Otherwise, this is somebody that sees you as somebody that they can marry. They see you as somebody that they can have a stable foundation with. Absolutely, this person is, you know, really thinking long term. They're really thinking about marriage. They're thinking about a family. They're thinking about possibly even a business here. Um, you could be very financially well off here, or this is somebody that's wanting to build a solid foundation in order to take care of you. All right, so what is your person hiding from you? What is Aries' person hiding from them, please? Show me what Aries person is hiding from them. What is Aries person hiding from them, please? The fool. So you're dealing with somebody that wants to take a leap of faith with you. If this is, if you're single, you're dealing with somebody that wants to take a leap of faith with you. If you are in a relationship, you're dealing with somebody that wants to rush to the next level here. And they're really wanting to kind of just kind of jump in, take a leap of faith here. This is somebody that is, you know, I really think that the person you're dealing with, if they're not already in love with you, then they are falling in love with you right now. Or they are um, falling in love with you all over again, where it's like, I feel like they have this childhood feeling. You just make them feel so good. Just like they just want to do like optimistic random spontaneous things when they're around you because you just uplift this person like I love the way that you know this person is making you feel or the way that you make this person feel is actually amazing here because it's like they just want to take a leap of faith with you like they just feel and they don't even see it as a risk they don't see it and I feel like this is somebody and I no, actually the thing is I feel like it may be you that's a little bit more stable and a little bit more grounded so it's like you may be a little bit kind of like you know whoa steady but this person is just like wanting to rush in and also it's like because they also see you as somebody stable that they want to lock it down right they don't want this opportunity to go so um i think they're trying to play it cool here but realistically this is somebody that kind of just wants to rush in and um jump in with you 
All right, so what is Aries person's true intentions? Show me Aries person's true intentions, please. All right, Aries, oh. So for their true intentions, okay, so we have the Eight of Swords here. I feel like your person is a little bit, you know, stuck in their head when it comes to their true intentions. I definitely feel like your person has a little bit of fear here, your person, or this could be you, and it's like they're wanting to break down your walls, they're wanting you to put down your walls, but somebody here has guards, um, and they're needed to they're needing to break them down so somebody's trying I feel like this could be your person or this is you but either your person's true intentions are to try to break down your walls so that you feel like you can trust them or they're trying to break down their walls in order to be with you because there are some fears surrounding someone here all right show me more please what is Aries person's true intentions all right Okay, so then we have the King of Wands. Sorry, these don't have the writing, so I have to like take an extra second. It's a new deck too. Um, I love this one, but um, so I feel like your person, you know, they're wanting something very, very grounded. Some of you, this is a same sex relationship. Some of you, this is two masculine energies. Um, it could be two feminine energies here, but it's like, this is somebody that's true intentions are to come in and match you. This is definitely somebody, I definitely sense you as the more stable one. This is the more passionate, you know, following their heart type of person that you're dealing with. It could be an Aquarius, um, or another fire sign here, definitely getting a lot of air as well. Um, but this person wants to be, you know, I feel like this person wants a very honest, passionate communication with you here. This is somebody that wants to talk to you about where things can go here, about how they plan, how they see this going with you here. But it's like, for some reason, they're stuck here. They're stuck. So I feel like they're the ones with this fear because it's like they have everything they need to say, but they're not moving forward. They're not speaking. And I feel like it's due to fear. So they have some fear that's within them here. It's not realistic. It's really just kind of their own mind playing tricks on them, probably due to the past. All right, so what does your person want you to know? Show me, what is Aries person? Oh, okay. So we have the Knight of Cups and the world here. So your person wants you to know that they're coming towards you with an offer of love here. This is somebody that um, admires you. This is somebody that is very charming. This is somebody who wears their heart on their sleeves here. Your person wants you to know that they have deep emotions for you and they want to express those emotions towards you here. Your person wants you to know that they see something long-term with you and there's a possibility to, to move in with each other. Um, I definitely sense that this is a long distance relationship and your person wants you to know that they want to come towards you here They see this as something fixed here and they want this to be Like with this world card. I'm definitely sensing like they want to lock this down I'm sensing this is a marriage card or this is the beginning of a relationship So this is you know want them wanting something serious. This is them wanting a commitment with you they may have, they may want you to know, for some of you, this person wants you to know that they had just come out of an ending and that is why they have some fear. That's why they're holding back, but they're working on what they need to work on in order to make their way towards you with this offer. Cause it's either coming or it's on the, or it's on its way. All right. So how does your person see you? How does Aries person see them please? Wow. The queen of wands. So your person sees you as somebody that is very passionate. They see you as somebody that is very attractive. A lot of sexual energy here. You guys, if you have been intimate with this person, then they definitely see you as somebody that can satisfy them very, very well. They see you as somebody that gets a lot of attention here. You could be very spiritual. You may be into uh, witchcraft. That could be a possibility. Or you may be some sort of reader or a psychic here. They see you as somebody who has psychic abilities or just that you're very spiritual. Uh, somebody that takes care of themselves. You could be a businesswoman. But they really just see you as somebody on top so this is the energy of it doesn't matter who this person has been with in the past this person sees you as somebody who comes above anyone so and I feel like that's also why they're coming in as a fool wanting to rush in right they're coming in wanting to lock things down with this uh, world card energy here and I've never seen the world like that before but um it's like this person is so fixated on you it's like all I keep getting is when you know you know that's what this person that's all that that's all that they keep thinking and I feel like it's making them feel you know like trapped because I don't think they've ever felt like this and I feel like to be honest I don't think this person rushes in I feel like this is somebody who normally is actually really slow they actually take their time and go within um but I feel like this person wants to rush with you 
And if you're in a relationship with this person, then it's almost like one day this week they're gonna wake up and wanna, you know, suddenly get married or suddenly move in or suddenly have children. Um, all right, so let's see. All right, so what do you need to know? Show me, please. What does Aerie need to know about the person that they're dealing with, please? What does Aries need to know about the person that they're dealing with? Oh, whoa, that's so many. Okay. I was five. Show me what does Aries need to know about the person that they're... Okay. Okay. So we have the cherry in reverse and the queen of swords. So I feel like what your person, okay, okay. I feel like what you need to know is that your person's um, ex could still be in their life here. I don't sense that this is, I feel like the reason for the delay is due to the ex, due to an ex here. There is an ex still in the picture. I don't sense that this ex, ha um, like this isn't, this person is still dealing with their ex. No, it's like there is, their ex is either still harassing them their ex is still, you know, either, I feel like, honestly, you might have a person that has a really, really, um, you know, jealous ex, where if you start dating this person, their ex may decide to, you know, their ex could do something to ruin it, and I feel like they're worried about that here, so their lack of movement is due to the fact that there are still things going on with their ex, and it's not that they're dealing with their ex in any way, I do not sense that, I just sense that their ex, they feel like their ex could be a threat to this relationship. Um, this is somebody that just won't let go of a situation that has been ended for a very long time here. So it's almost like they're guarding you from this ex of theirs. All right, so what is your person's favorite thing about you? Show me, what is Aries? Oh, okay. So justice on the lovers so i feel like they love the fact that you guys are you know i feel like the bond that you guys have they just feel like it is something that is magical they feel like it's something that just kind of came out of nowhere they love how you resonate with them how you get along with them how you your vibe your attraction who you are they just love it uh with this justice card they love that you're fair they love that you're balanced here they love that you balance your life out very very well here um, if you do know if there is the ex in the situation here or there was a third party situation at one point in time The way that you are is just so respectful regarding the situation You didn't do anything with this person until they were completely, you know done with their divorce here um, And they just love that they just your morals your morals your moral code your moral compass is what they absolutely love about you and they think that you're very highly respected here. They see you as somebody very highly respected. They see you as literally a gift from the heavens here. Some of you, this person feels like you saved them from the previous relationship that they were in here. They feel like you were their justice. You were their karmic justice. All right, so what drew your person towards you? Show me what drew Aries' person towards them, please. What drew your person towards you? Oh. So the Seven of Wands. So for some of you, what drew your person towards you is the way that you fought off obstacles in your past or the way that you fought to get to the top in situations that could be within your career. It may even be, if they had other options, the way that you just kind of made those options disappear. Because like I said, you're coming off as the queen of wands, the highest of all, right? So maybe for some of you, without even trying, you know, you just kind of came around and this person's options just disappeared. And this person wasn't even looking for anything serious. And they just love that. They love that you come out on top here. This person just respects you so much. They really put you on a pedestal. All right, so let me pull you guys some romance angels. So show me what other messages can we get for Aries and their person, please? What other messages can we get for Aries and their person? Okay. So I saw the soulmate card, but I lost it. So I'm not sure if it will come out again. We'll see. Any other messages?
All right, we have reconciliation. Someone from your past life is returning. For some of you, this is a past person coming back here. Engagement, your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. If this is somebody from the past, this is going to be the time that you guys tie the knot here. Um, and if this is somebody new, then this is somebody that you have, there's a lot of potential to marry here. Because like I said, this is somebody that really, really respects you. And I feel like the dynamic and the way that this is going is just so divine. Honestly, even if there are complications in this connection, just know that there are sources looking after this connection, looking after you, looking after this person, even at times of separation, because I truly feel like this is something that is meant to be. Um, absolutely beautiful engagement, like love this reconciliation and engagement so beautiful some of you this is going to be a past life relationship all right so now i'm going to pull a romance angel so you guys can ask a question and then i'm going to pull three cards so you'll pick one two or three and that'll be your answer all right so what can you get so number one So for number one, we have trust and yes. Number two. For number two, we have romance. And number three. And number three, we have within the next few months. All right, you guys, so I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, feel free to give it a thumbs up. Let me know. Um, and as of next week, these will be available for extended. Um, feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. I love you guys, and I hope you have a beautiful week. Take care.